Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. Mother Karua is uh, releasing very shocking details here. And if this is true, then I think Kenya, <clears throat> we are done. Yeah, Mother Karua has released uh, very disturbing news here. And I think, I want to read for you Kenyans, please, it's a statement, but there's a paragraph here that has captured my attention. Let me read for you. We condemn in the strongest terms possible this morning's abduction of renowned human rights defender Bonfess Mwangi from his Lukenya home, Machakos County, a man who has courageously dedicated his life to defend the rights and freedoms of all Kenyans. Accounts from his wife indicate he was abducted in the presence of his children early Sunday morning by three men and one woman believed to be police officers and who were not in uniform. The abductors did not identify themselves or say why and where they were taking Mr. Mwangi. These kidnappings, disappearances, and extrajudicial killings tag uh, targeted on our children and largely Kenya's innocent youth is now a signature modus operandi of the Ruto regime. These abductions and killings of our youth is now a worrying trend that must stop forthwith. It has now become the signature modus operandi of the Ruto regime and these unconstitutional abductions have, since the Gen Z protests, resulted in lengthy illegal detentions like in the case of Bob Njagi and the Langton brothers Aslam and Jamil or death as in the case of many who include the university student leader Denzel Omondi who was murdered and the body recovered in a quarry or the more recent abduction and the murder of John Njuguna Kuria of Kapenguria, whose burial was two days ago. These are dark reminders of the regime's determination to silence dissent. Credible sources indicate, I want you to listen to that. This is what captured my attention. Nandaka Mskize Vizuri. Credible sources indicate the abduction squads consisting of officers from the army and the police, <clears throat> mainly from Dr. William Ruto's ethnic group with foreigners possibly drawn from Burundi, Uganda, and the Congo are a part of the squads housed at Karen near the DB residence and Olepolos in Kajiado, a regime that finds it necessary to form a squad outside the official channels for terrorizing and murdering its citizens is a regime without any moral authority to govern and needs to be forced out of power. Allow me to repeat that. Take note. This is the only section that captured my attention. Credible sources indicate the abduction squads consisting of officers from the army and the police, mainly from Dr. William Ruto's ethnic group, meaning Kalenjins, with foreigners, possibly drawn from Burundi, Uganda, and Congo, are a part of these squads housed at Karen near the DP residence and Olepolos in Kajiado, a regime that finds it necessary to form a squad outside the official channels for terrorizing and murdering its citizens is a regime without any more authority to govern and needs to be forced out of power. This targeting of activists, journalists, and youth is a direct assault on the principles of equality justice and freedom embedded in Kenya's constitution. Kenya must not be a place where families live in fear 
the loved ones may be taken in the dead of night, never to return. The right to life and liberty enriched in our constitution must be upheld, not selectively, not conditionally, but absolutely. We unequivocally state that the Ruth administration must take full responsibility of the safety and the well-being of Comrade Monfes Mwangi and indeed all the disappearances and extrajudicial killings happening in Kenya, especially since the June 2024 GNC protests. It must be held fully accountable under both national and international law. The Constitution of Kenya protects all citizens from arbitrarily arrest and detention. To violate these protections is to violate the very foundation of our state's legitimacy. We therefore demand 1. Immediate release and transparency. The immediate and unconditional release of Bonfes Mwangi and all other unlawfully detained, we must insist upon transparency regarding their detainment and locations as required by the Kenyan Constitution and international law. Number two, and to extrajudicial abductions. These abductions are unequivocally unconstitutional and illegal under Kenyan law. The African Charter on Human and People's Rights and the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, such actions constitute disappearances and can be tried as crimes against humanity in international courts. Number three, independent investigations and prosecution. We demand an impartial investigation into the extrajudicial abductions and the killings and a full prosecution of those involved. Number four, international oversight. In light of Kenya's obligations as a signatory to the African Charter and other human rights treaties, we call on the African Union, the United Nations, and the regional bodies to bring oversight to this matter, ensuring accountability for abuse of power. In these dark times, Kenyans must remember the rights are not gifts from the government, but sacred principles inherent to every human being. Human rights are the only thing that no government can take away. Despite Ruto's concerted efforts to squeeze Kenyans to misery and terrorize them to hopelessness, Kenyans are not helpless and have a constitutional right to self-defense in the face of these brazen violations of their fundamental rights to life, liberty, and dignity. We urge our fellow parents and indeed all Kenyans of goodwill and standing to step up and each other's keeper, we must stand up for each other and all our youth to protect one another as necessary. This dictatorial and painful pressure is reaching its pitch levels and it's time to say enough is enough or we perish. We call upon every Kenyan, every person of conscience and every believer in justice to stand united in resistance demanding the preservation of our rights, our dignity and our humanity. Let us be reminded that without accountability, there can be no freedom. We urge Kenyans to be each other's keeper and to stand up for each other and to protect one another as necessary. It is time to say enough is enough to this rogue regime and the whole aided and abets. Yeah, that is Mother Karua speaking. Kenyans united to resist oppression. Where? <laughs> eh. Umeskia. Anyway, that is your government. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.